Well, the patterns are still on track here for National Australia Bank. Undoubtedly, a five-wave impulsive movement down that cannot complete the whole corrective pattern. It needs to be a three-wave movement at larger degree or a series of three-wave movements. Now, yes, we did see a good reaction at these lower levels, impulsive in nature for the initial stages, but as we can see over the past three weeks or so, just chopped back and forth, now looking corrective in nature. And that's definitely more in line with what we're looking for in regard to tagging this typical retracement zone. So it's like that we have small degree waves A and B in position. We have formed this box pattern over the past few weeks. Really the line in the sand or the trigger point is Friday's high. If we can get up through there, then we would be looking for a pretty much straight line move up into this target area. Probably the 61.8% retracement level here, that would show more symmetry. And then potentially looking for another probe down into this larger degree typical 50 to 61.8 percent retracement zone much further down the track and this 24 dollar region would be deemed a buying opportunity following signs of strength the slightly more bullish pattern will only materialize if the 61.8 percent retracement level here is penetrated if it is then it's quite feasible that we're going to see more of a flat pattern maybe even morph into a triangle but probably the flat so down to the wave a this is the make or break point here, just beneath $32. A push up through there into wave B, and then again, looking for further weakness, taking us back down toward these prior pivot lows, just beneath $28. That will complete the flat correction, and again, a very good buying opportunity at slightly higher levels than if this zigzag does materialize. Now, the other potential pattern of interest is some um, bearish divergence, not a textbook example, but as we can see, price has just about made a high high. Our divergence oscillator thus far has failed to do just that, so it's made a double top, if you like. So a type B bearish divergence right there. If we do break down immediately, then we could say that we have an interim top in position, but that said, it has yet to trigger, and if we do break up through the upper boundary of this box, then this divergence will unwind, and then we'll no longer be reason for concern. So at this juncture, just something to keep a close eye on, but if we do break up as expected into this typical retracement zone, then this certainly won't be an issue. So from a trading perspective, look, aggressive traders could buy following a break above Friday's high here, and if that flat pattern does evolve, then reasonable risk-reward trade. But I think with the information at hand, the best thing to do here is to potentially look for a shorting opportunity following signs of distribution in this typical retracement zone and then look for uh, a leg down into this $24 region. Obviously from these levels, a reasonable trade to the downside and then bigger picture, this would be the buying opportunity.